New Jersey Living is back in Port Imperial. We are in Edgewater, and uh, we have a guest star today. So our guest star is Esky Cohen. Hello. All right. She's uh, one of my colleagues from Prestige Properties and resides right here in Edgewater in Port Imperial. And I wanted to collaborate with her on this episode because she's going to provide some very specific insights today, being that she's a resident and has a couple deals that I think will be very very valuable content to the channel so I'm, we're gonna pan around just a little all right. bit all right pan it's pan pan oh we're <laughs> west new york forgive me all right so we're close to edgewater but still west new york we're right close, yeah. all right so um but you are in edgewater you're you're no i i'm here at west, west new york. oh my gosh but i i just yes. sold one in edgewater maybe that's why correction we're correction we're shooting live here and i'm not gonna bother editing that out so <laughs> in west new york but her sale was in edgewater so let's get That's that right. right all right so as you can see behind us very very lovely scene we'll pan up just a little bit get the full profile beautiful. all right but the city is beautiful too so we're gonna pan back around let's do all it. right so we are going to dive into some of the details of her recent transactions and again get some valuable insights you've seen my west new york episode you've seen my edgewater episode you've even seen we hawking, so you're familiar with the area already, but we're gonna get some valuable insights again today. So we'll be back in just a minute, different location in a blink. See you there. Welcome to New Jersey Living. My name is Corey Jones, and I'm a real estate agent here in New Jersey, and I am with a colleague again today. This is Esky. All right. Uh, and my job is to bring content like this to viewers like you. So if you're looking to learn all things New Jersey, real estate market, dining scene, places to see in terms of iconic locations, your social entertainment venues, this is the channel for you. So all those Jersey hunters who have been with me all along, welcome back. Those who are new, welcome to the channel. This is a bit of a different format that we cover because normally we're jumping into many different properties that have recently sold but today is going to be a special on the waterfront scene here in jersey city i mean my gosh i'm, I'm all off today west not just new <laughs> west new york all right um close oh, to jersey city but west new york <laughs> and uh we're gonna get some specific <laughs> insights and I, just, I have to show our live audience you got to see this oh, yeah. right so we've got like pigeon full of a uh, tree full of pigeon right here all right so <laughs> So, yeah. so we've got a uh, we've got a bit of a live audience, but we uh, are going to lean into some of the knowledge from our expert here. So she'll give a little dive into a little taste of the area. Go ahead. All right. So Port Imperial is a beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. I uh, call it the hidden gem because um, not a lot of people are aware of how uh, it became what what it become. Um, I've only been a resident here for three years, but I hear from some older residents that it was not like this at all. There was literally nothing, like no supermarkets or cafes, but when you come here now, you're going to find everything you need. Um, restaurants, cafes, and anything you need, dry cleaner, supermarket, Starbucks, whatever you want is around you, and uh, beautiful homes. Uh, some buildings are older than others, uh, but... Uh, they're really well made and well kept uh, buildings. Both rental and condo buildings are on here. Uh, if you wanted to rent or buy, you can find something for you. It's it's beautiful. I love 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 living here. So this is just a taste of what we're going to explore a little more in this particular episode. So we're off to our first destination, just a few steps away. We'll see you there. We are making a brief pit stop before we get closer uh, inside the building and we are still along the waterfront as I kind of pan both directions you can see Manhattan one side we just came to enjoy the scenery <laughs> absolutely <laughs> absolutely and you can pan over here just to see kind of uh, this is actually a pool but obviously in December I mean I'm sorry January nothing's gonna be happening right so um, we're going to ask a few questions about okay. what do you do? How do you get into the city? How easy it is to get around from where we are right now? You don't. 
we, <laughs> we just stay here all the time. No, so it's so easy to get to the city. Um, there's a ferry uh, station right over there, Manhattan Ferry. It, it's literally six minutes to go into Midtown Manhattan. And then they have the free shuttles that you can take into wherever you want to go around Manhattan. And there is the express bus. It's literally right across the street over there. And you have the light rail if you wanted to connect to path. You have so many options. And we're minutes away from Lincoln Tunnel. So if you wanted to drive into the city, it's also super fast and very convenient. And oh, oh and the ferry ride ferry. is just beautiful. It's just all along this lamp post over there. Only six minutes. Love and it. you can see uh, the other side if you can. I'm going to flash a quick photo of that. You've already seen a quick shot of the ferry, mm -hmm. but uh, across the Midtown uh, station is right Over there. across the waterway, right? Just like that. Absolutely. Yep. So, not a bad spot if you don't want to pay Manhattan prices, not right? Not at all. Yep, Absolutely. Exactly. Uh, I would say uh, even competitive around New Jersey, too, the prices. Yeah. I can say that. I would agree. Wholeheartedly. I would agree. Yeah. All right, so we're going to take a look. Oh, you know, by the way, Again, referencing back to my Edgewater and my Weehawken. West New York Weehawken. Yeah, funny. West New York Weehawken and Edgewater. It was more my West New York, and because West New York, we came down here at the very end of that episode. Mm -hmm. Of course, Edgewater, we were here the whole time. But price per square foot, right, mm -hmm. for a condo here compared to Hoboken, Jersey City, just night and day different. Significantly. Night and day different, right? Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so we're going to keep things going. Stick with us. We'll see you at the next spot. All right, so here we are. We're going to start checking out some amenities here in the community. I'm going to have Eski just give that rundown, and we're going to take a little bit of a tour and have her guide us through. Yes, we're in the uh, building where the management is located. Also, some of the great amenities are located, which all the residents of like the place that I live in have access to. So that, and that's rental, right? So we have both that's rental, rental. Yes. and owner and yeah. condo have access here. Uh, I believe so, because so this is a condo building, and the amenities are located in this building. I know as renters from the other building we have access, but I never thought about asking for their condo. It should be mm. wow. No, it's, that's it's, a good question. Pool, is it pool access to this building? They have their own pool on here. Okay. And we, our building has its own pool, and okay. this building has its own pool. Got it, so got it, got it. All different right. Different pools. All right, different pools, but we're going to see some amenities here. All right, so this is the first time we've been able to get inside, because you remember, if you were here for my tour, we obviously did not take a look inside to see amenities close up. So let's get it started now. All right, here we are in the business center. You have the conference room that you can use for meetings or some private uh, work. They have computers here and a printer scanner that you can use, uh, just open to residents. Sometimes I come and work here actually, it's really nice and quiet. And uh, yeah, they have Wi Fi here too, public Wi Fi. Free Wi Fi. Great office space, right? It is, love it. We are going into the movie theater. So they have this big screen here. You can uh, log into your own Netflix, HBO, whatever, and then you can come and watch movies here. And I believe they have DVDs, at least DVDs in there too, a nice one. And some people come and work here too. Uh, it's nice and quiet, great views if you choose. And yeah, good music here. And here is pool I was trying to refer to. Yep, that's the that's the pool for the condo. For the condos, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How nice is it? Very, very. The side room over here is a separate space. Yes. Right?
Feel more dehydrated. You have the. You can pay for it. Yeah. And this is the gym. There's this big gym, and then there's another small gym in the building. Uh, but you have access to both. And come check this out. This is an indoor basketball court. Wonderful. Mm hmm. So there you go. You can work out. Watch out and observe. Here we are outside of the facility, and before we take a step to the next location, I wanted to ask you just to share a little bit about a rental situation that she had with a client that soon kind of translated, transformed into a buyer situation. Right, so uh, I met this lovely couple. We started looking at rentals, uh, two bedrooms, around $5,000 uh, or less. And uh, that's two bedrooms around the area is just going for right now and um, not just in the area I mean surrounding areas too uh, so it's a lot of money five thousand dollars a month and of course there it adds up because there's like the amenity fees right like the, some places there's parking some places you also pay for water so whatever it, there not to mention it, escrow exactly and rental fee right yeah and some places you have like really big chunk of moving costs like moving fees or like uh, da, da, da. So uh, it's a lot of money. So and then we started talking about like how buying would look like, and uh, yeah, the conversation. That's how the conversation started, mm. which is great because uh, you know, I mean, I'm a renter too, and I, I think the only reason that I haven't uh, go, go, gone into buying it because I still haven't decided where to live. Otherwise, like. Buying is the best. Buying is no doubt the best. And yeah. so just to give frame of reference, some viewers in uh, our community are not from New Jersey, right? Or not in the region of the Northeast. So just to give a little context, it is typical here in New Jersey for a renter to, of course, pay the first month's rent up front, which is normal anywhere you go. You have your earnest deposit, which can be a month or it can be a month and a half, depending on the landlord. All right. So you're starting to add up doing the math here. Then there is the rental fee, and that's negotiable. Sometimes landlords would pay that entire fee. Some buildings right here on Hudson County give incentives where the building or the management company will cover the fee, but there's times where the tenant will pay that fee or half the fee, and the fee typically is one month's rent, all right? So you add that up, and then with moving costs, you have sometimes you have to get insurance to move into buildings, so there's move-in costs associated. So if you do the math and your uh, rental here along the Hudson easily can be $4,000 and up, right? So the high end and like in Hoboken is about 8,500, maybe about 9,000 if you can believe that, right? But you do the math, yeah, we, it adds up. I told you this uh, today earlier is that there's one uh, rental in Jersey City when uh, it's like 3K or so and the moving costs would add up to like $9,000. Yes. Yes. $9,000. And that's $9,000. Other than the, of course, the security deposit, you will see that again once you move out. But the remaining, and that's just a small portion, uh, the remaining of those funds, you'll never see again, right? So in, in renting, you're paying money out, but you're not going to reap the benefits of having equity and have that money returned for you like owning. So these clients, no doubt, uh, had that thought and conversation, and lo and behold, they went from renters to buyers. So we're going to get towards the end of that story in the next scene. Just wanted to share that a little bit and pan one more time. She's going to pan with me. All right. So yeah. you can pan <laughs> and cold. see parking lot. It is just getting, we don't have that much sunlight now. Um, wow. Pool over here, which is of course out of commission for another probably, what, five months. 
uh, and back where we were. Yeah. So we've got a little bit more to view here. Uh, stick with us and we're going to get the rest of this story very yeah. soon. All right. See you there. So we've done a full circle. We're back where we started. All right. And as he's going to get into the details of how that story ended with the renters that turned into buyers. It's one thing. Uh, it hasn't been forever since we made the last shot. I just got golden for this. Limit. There's <laughs> one season be in between the takes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we start looking at uh, condos and uh, they loved one of them. And this beautiful, we made an offer. And we started, you know, working on the uh, process after that, and everything was really fast. And uh, I have to say, big shout out to um, Malone and Depot on that. They they were so fast, so, so amazing. And we literally, from the time we started looking, we uh, closed in like less than a month. And mm -hmm. so their time frame uh, met. And, you know, they are and they found this beautiful home. They're so, so happy and I'm so happy for them. It makes me so happy. And so, yeah, like they started the journey as a looking for a rental and then they ended up owning this beautiful home. And it, this is, I mean, this can happen for you too. <laughs> no, but I mean, yes, it can. And it does happen. And I just something to think about. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. and. Oftentimes we have renters that uh, are planning to buy in some time and it may be a matter of, all right, am I ready to buy? Have that conversation certainly with both your realtor and just reach out to um, a loan officer to get an idea of what your qualification is. Um, just like know and have an idea of like your the, the finances, what the numbers would look like. I mean, it doesn't hurt. It's just it would be good. To, um, resource to have and things to know is like, okay this is what it would look like if I go into this and uh, and any real real estate experts can help you with that feel free to you know uh, reach out to um, someone that you work with or you want to work with uh, or Corey here is just amazing I mean <laughs> thank, you. thank you so uh, hands down uh, so yeah uh, get some you know ideas it even if you're not maybe thinking of buying now but good stuff to know about the market What's and going on? doesn't necessarily require a hard pull of credit many uh, lenders will do a soft pull doesn't affect your report but gives you an idea of where you stand um, so some who think they're years out from being able to buy a home it may be not so much it's just a matter of yeah. maybe clearing a few things up on credit and being able to step into something likewise when it comes to closing costs so there are lenders that work out special programs even now so right now we are january 2023 even now with ten thousand fifteen thousand uh, dollars of lender credit support towards closing costs something like that right that does exist right now with one of my lending partners um, so closing assistance down payment requirements even programs that will eliminate uh the uh, mortgage uh, insurance premium right so um that pmi can make a hundred fifty dollar two hundred uh, addition on your uh, monthly mortgage payment easily if you're not putting 20 percent down uh, but there's programs where you put down three three and a half and get that pmi waived entirely i have a lending partner that does that, does that. so um yeah, yes there's options there. absolutely yeah. absolutely so it's not necessarily out of reach and this is again an investment that pays for itself in time all right so you're going to build equity have tax benefits from it and who knows down the road it becomes a investment property or something that yeah. you sell to be able to step up into that next home 
All right, so I want to thank my partner for thank you. joining it today. Was so much fun. Yes. Can we do this more? Can I? We, we can do another episode for sure, right? So uh, for commenters, again, please do drop a comment. Uh, those who have not subscribed, again, please do click like, click subscribe, click the notification bell because we have more content coming your way. So we want to thank everybody for joining today, and we will see you the next episode.